Hello, everyone. Well, hello, everyone. We are glad to be back with you today. It is, is this week three already? Time's flying almost. Week wow. three of April, mm -hmm. 2023. The Lord is good. He is faithful. Yes, he is. And it's Anthony and Cheryl from Faith Five Fellowship of Ministries. And we just want to take this time to give you a bite of faith, to encourage you mm -hmm. in your work, the mm -hmm. good work that he has prepared for you to walk out mm -hmm. as you walk in faith. Mm -hmm. So today... We want to encourage you to like, to share, and also to subscribe to Fate Bite with mm -hmm. Fate Five. And there is another podcast that we do. It's Sarah's Daughters of Faith. So you just do at Sarah's Daughters of Faith, and you will also get that um, podcast. Mm -hmm. We really want to be encouraging you today about faith yes. and work. They both go together. In James chapter 2, verse 14 to 17, James, Pastor James, one of the apostles, is reminding us that we are not just people who just confess something. We are people who have faith in God and our faith has works. Yes. Works and faith go together. <laughs> you cannot be a person of faith without works. And if you are works... Therefore, there is faith behind the works. Yes, yes. You know, just like as if when you get up in the morning mm -hmm. and you go to a job, you put your clothes together, you make sure that you travel to the 401 or wherever, and when you get to work, you're expecting at the end of two weeks or a month that there is going to be a fruits to your faith in that company that you're going to. And so we operate in faith and works all the time. But sometimes we come into our walk with God and we just want to confess and hope that God will do the rest. But it says with com confession, yes, you're, you make you know your way to God. So you confess we your can faith. Confess, but you know, James says that the practical thing about faith is that you, if you confess something, you better have a work behind it. Wow. If I say to you, be warm and you're cold and you are literally... I'm freezing and I say, be warm. The Lord bless you. The Lord give you grace and comfort. And these are good words. But my faith needs to be followed over by an act of works. That is getting a blanket. That means if I have to get a blanket, I'm going to get a coat for you. Anything that can make my faith move is my work. Well, my body has to respond to the confession that I do. So it costs you, but you will not truly have genuine faith. Unless there is works behind it. Can I just read the passage? Yes, you can. And sure. then I know you've got something else that you wanted sure. to just. But I really want to encourage us all today is that if there is no work to your faith, it doesn't matter what you're saying, if there's no works, actions behind it. And the word so, says in James 2 14, mm -hmm. what does it profit, my brethren, if <clears> someone mm -hmm. says he has faith but does not have works? Mm -hmm. Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, mm -hmm. and one of you says to him, depart mm -hmm. in peace, be warmed and filled, mm -hmm. you were just saying that, yes. but you do not give them the things mm -hmm. which are needed for the body, mm -hmm. what does it profit? Thus also, faith by itself, mm -hmm. if it does not have works, is dead. Mm -hmm. I just want to read two more verses. Is that okay? okay? But someone will say, you have faith. And I have works. Show me your faith without your works. And I will yes. show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Yes. But do you want to know, mm -hmm. oh foolish man, mm -hmm. that faith without works is dead? Your faith has no value. Unless you're work behind it. Look at the picture of a vehicle. If I walk into a car dealership and I want to buy this lovely Mercedes Benz. And I say it's great. The vehicle looks wonderful. The tires are great. I mean, the interior is wonderful. And it really looks good. But unless there is a lovely full-size engine inside that vehicle, <laughs> when I turn it on, I expect to hear an engine. Mm. Because it's the engine that powers the vehicle. 
where it's going. Mm -hmm. It's not my pushing it. It is the power. And same way with James says that your faith in God, your confession of faith, your belief in God mm -hmm. has to have an engine yeah. connected to action, the whole system. And action has to be applied. That means faith. that your shouting and my shouting and my worship time and your worship time and fasting and prayer and all the things we do in our spiritual exercises, they look good, they sound good, and we can talk about it, but it's the engine that moves the vehicle. Yes. And it's my work, my attitude of working it out yes. with physical demonstration. Yeah. Tie hits the road that will cause my faith mm -hmm. to be genuine faith. Yes. No yes. one buys a car without an engine. Because <laughs> the car is dead. It's just standing there looking good all by itself. But we want it to move. And the only way it can move is that it's got a, a full-size engine. And that engine is connected to everything else. You can confess. Confessions is good. You can declare spiritual warfare. It is good. Mm -hmm. Or you feel anointing when you sit on the steering wheel and you're turning it around. But unless you ignite that engine, that's right. The unless there is a physical act that you yes. are doing, turn it on. Then you, you, our faith, our church activity, our life is dead. Yes. So the question today, family and friends, where's the work? And maybe you got work. Then I know there's a faith behind it. Mm -hmm. They both work together. Mm -hmm. One can attract people. But it's the other one that carries people. Ouch. One can draw people towards you because of that person's commitment, dedication. Yes. yes. But it's the, it's the, it's the engine <laughs> that takes you from A to B. Yes. And it's the work yes. that makes our faith be tangible. So people see the manifestation of what you believe. That's right. Because <laughs> it's working in you. Because it's God working is working in us mm -hmm. to do of his, his good pleasure. Not ours. Mm -hmm. So as we allow the word of God yes. to be activated mm -hmm. in our actions, that's right. our attitude, as you mentioned earlier, that's right. Because the, just in verse 26, it says of the same chapter, mm -hmm. for as the body without mm -hmm. the spirit is mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. So faith without works yeah. is dead also. I want to encourage you to read that passage, yes. James chapter Let 2. Let the Spirit of God inspire you, encourage you. Yes. Because they build the engine outside of the vehicle and put it on the inside of the vehicle. Wow. So the works will come towards you when your confessions line up. And then you do something by faith. Yes. To help the world around you. You had something about a faith and a parachute. Well, I mentioned, that I was sharing something that spoke to me. <laughs> is that there are, you know, those who jump out of airplanes and they, <laughs> and they really believe that by jumping out of airplanes is a great frail. Not my frail, but others. <laughs> they said the parachute is prepared, but the parachute will not activate, will not engage until when you leave the airplane. Now, I don't know how many of you really want to jump out of a airplane, 35,000 or 20,000 feet in a year. Mm -hmm. But you know that parachute has no use to you unless you leave the airplane. That's right. Now, it's a scary thought. That's why so many people don't don't activate their works. Mm -hmm. Because works really is like jumping out of the airplane. And the parachute only comes to in play when there is no airplane. Woo! And your body begins to go in free fall. Don't <laughs> panic because the God has built into you a measure of faith yes. that it will work as you pull that trigger. The parachute comes up and it's built so you don't fall. Mm. It's built to catch you yeah. and to bring you from the invisible to the physical, visible. Yes. And you'll be able to walk it out tangibly. Mm -hmm. I encourage you to be today as we seek to walk it out. Yes. It's scary sometimes. But without works, all we're doing is having church. Yeah. And not us, mm. and not you. That's right, because faith great without day. works is yeah. dead. Bless you. Bless you. We hope to see you next week. Yes. Just continue mm -hmm. walking mm. by faith. Yes. Walking by faith. And your works speak for you. And your yeah. works.
speak will for speak you. for you. Bless you and see you mm -hmm. definitely next week.